Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Terra Luna Classic Engineers unleash, quote, six samurai, unquote, proposal for ecosystem revival. Can it drive price to one dollar? Okay, well, I'm definitely intrigued to see what this can be. As it says, it's going to be engineers who are unleashing the proposal. I already know that there's a lot of people working hard to try and revive Terra Luna and I, all I can say is props to them man like it's good that they're holding the faith it's good that the, the community is still standing strong and they really are coming together to really try and rebuild it and revive it I think this is great to see this is what I like to see and I think this is what we need to see right we need to see the faith being held because unfortunately with what happened with such a dramatic collapse it is going to have obviously scared a lot of people away and it is going to be hard to regain the faith. But one thing that I will say, price action will always do it. That's one thing I'll say. Like as soon as prices start to go up, people just flock to it because that's what it is. Green candles, right? People see that and they just want to get involved. That's what you see with people who invest. Like they don't want to buy when the prices go down, even though that's the wrong mentality. They want to buy when the price has already gone up because they feel like it's it's expensive because people are wanting to buy it. And that's great, but then you're missing out on the actual price action. So really, you want to be involved before the green candles come in, right? So then you actually get to capitalize on the green candles and sell and make your profit. So price will always be a thing that drives people to a crypto or a network. That's one thing I will say. But again, it's, it's all about trying to build up the network in general first. People have got to come together and drive to get the network back flourishing and things like that. So this is great to see. But let's get into the article and we can discuss this a little bit further. The full-blown adoption of Terra Luna Classic, in brackets Luna C, is highly pegged to the underlying development of smart contract enabled blockchain. Terra Luna Classic, currently ranked 79 by market capitalization, is undeniably poised for more upside in the DeFi summer of 2023, based on the prior developments. Furthermore, the 533 million valued network with a daily traded volume of approximately 30 million has an active global community with its social media platforms reaching millions. Why Terra Luna Classic needs the Samurai 6? According to a post by Bilbo Baggins and Solid Snake, the Terra Luna Classic community needs to approve a proposal to have a team of six senior engineering full stack developers during the third quarter. Already, the Terra Luna Classic community has several proposals to analyse and approve for development purposes. Chosen from the Terra Luna C community, the Samurai 6 are intended to help the Terra blockchain achieve significant milestones in the coming quarters, the post noted. Quote, we've assembled this team from experienced industry veterans intending to bring value to the Terra Classic blockchain so that we can help push this chain where it deserves to go. The team is lean, experienced and agile. If the proposal goes through, the Samurai 6 team is expected to wholly commit to the Terra blockchain for the entire quarter. As a result, the Terra Lunacy community will not have to worry about the developers leaving the projects before completion. With the proposal, the team of developers will focus on migrating from Columbus-5 to Columbus-6, which reduces the synchronization time for archive nodes, thus streamlining the network. Additionally, the Samurai 6 will focus on updating the Cosmos SDK v0.46.x to Cosmos SDK v0.47.x. The proposal also highlights that the team of developers will focus on establishing a USTC testnet that recently passed community governance. In addition, the team will also enable the implementation of the Alliance module that onboards Cosmos network chains to enable cross-chain staking for users. As a result, the proposal highlights that the community subpools are needed to better manage the funds and automatically allocate them in relation to the governance parameters. Okay, so definitely interesting here. I mean, it sounds like this is really good in terms of what they're trying to do. It sounds like they really want to commit to the blockchain um, to try and obviously revive the network, which again, as I say, that's always great to hear. One thing I'm just a little bit intrigued to know a bit more about, I'm just a little bit skeptical, a bit unsure where it says, um, 
The proposal highlights that the community supports are needed to better manage the funds and automatically allocate them. I'm just, I'm a bit intrigued by what they mean by that. Does that mean that they'll have basically authority over the sub pools? That's something I'd want to know a bit more about in regards to it. So I'd be interested to hear a bit more about that. But um, in general, what they're trying to do, yeah, like it's it's great. It's great that they want to try and see if they can boost the network up and obviously try and revive it. That's what we need. I've not seen these developers, so I can't really speak to them, but the proposal definitely sounds promising. And I think it's great if you've got people who really want to try and continue to work on a network and build a network, because that's what we need. We need more people who are really believe in the network to try and continue to develop on there to boost it up because that's what's going to get it back running again right um interesting to see that uh, by market capitalization it's still like the 79th network out there like that that was interesting to, to to hear like that shows that hey even after the crash i mean damn that's good to still be that high i have to say considering and yeah, they have still got a great community. I have to say that. That is very true. Like there's still an audience here for Terra Luna Classic. You know, it's not like the, the the coin is completely out and dead. There's still a community there who still really want to see this do well and prosper. So they've got all the uh, means there. I think they just need to try and continue to capitalize on this and continue to build on it. So for me, I just say good luck. As I said, the only thing I'd be interested in is about the community sub pools. That might make me a bit more weary, depending on what that means. But other than that, yeah, I, I think I think this sounds good. But what do you guys think? Do you like the sound of this? Is this something that you would like to see happen and you would vote for, or is it not something that you'd be interested in? I mean, are you like me, just a little bit unsure about the community sub pools? Is there anything about this that would make you a bit more weary? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.